of this book. Now you may ask yourself, how do you know the people in the Bible are black people? Okay, I just proved colonialism and slavery. Can I show color in the Bible? Most Christians, when I've gone throughout Uganda, Ghana, Nigeria, the first thing is color's not in the Bible. That's the first thing they say. So I ask the question, if color's not in the Bible, why do you believe Jesus is white? Why do you believe that? And they'll, they'll sit there and they'll look around, they'll look at the sky and go, because when we were colonized, we were taught that, ah, when you were colonized and enslaved, you were taught Jesus is white. But did they show you Bible proof that Jesus is white? Then they all go, no. And I say, okay, let me help you. All right, now I'm gonna show you Jesus is black in the Bible. Let's go to Revelation chapter one. I'm gonna start at verse one and then I'm gonna jump to verse 14 to the point. Verse one reads, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Let's jump over to verse 14, where John looks at Jesus and writes a description down, his description down. His head and his hairs were white like wool, meaning the hair on his head was white and the texture was wool. Wool hair is not straight hair. Wool hair is Afro hair. You understand that? Wool hair is Afro hair. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning the whites of his eyes were red with wine. That's what it means. Because when you read Genesis 49, verse 12, Matthew eleven nineteen, 19, it says, Jesus Christ drank wine moderately. So the whites of his eyes were red. Okay, now watch his color. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass is brown. As if they burn in a furnace. If you take anything and burn it in a furnace, ask yourself the question, what color does it get? If you burn white rice in a furnace, what color does it get? Does it turn black or white? Black. So it's telling you Christ had Afro hair, and his skin like it burned in a furnace. He was black. Is there any more? Is there any more? Watch. Come, come, come. Let me help you. Let me go to the apostle, the apostle Paul in Acts chapter 21. Watch this. The description of Paul, Acts 21 verse 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee, who said, Can you speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian, which before these days made an uproar? So the captain of the guard thought Paul was Egyptian. Now we all know the ancient Egyptians were black. Not those Arabs you see today. Those are not the ancient Egyptians. Let me say it again. The Arabs in Egypt today are not, when did they get there? 641 AD, Six, 641 years after Christ, those Arabs conquered the land of Egypt. So we're in the year, what year is this with Paul? This is about the year three AD, three, about the year three, somewhere around there. Let's read it again, verse 38. This is what the captain says to Paul, art not thou that Egyptian? which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness, 4,000 men that were murderers. But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew. So what does that prove? The ancient Jews look just like the ancient Egyptians. Black, black, black. But your churches have been taught, never teach this to them. Because why? They might unite and rise up against the western powers they said god forbid that never allow that but is there more color in the bible watch this y'all heard of the prophet job right everybody heard of the prophet job job 30 verse 30 watch what he says 
My skin is black upon me and my bones are burned with heat. The prophet Job says, my skin is black. My skin. I remember a minister in Uganda came to me and said, brother, that does not mean his skin. It means his, his feeling, his emotions. I said, wait a minute, can you read English? I can read. I'm gonna read it again. My skin is black upon me. I said, pastor, does it say my emotion or does the word say there skin, my skin? He goes, yes, it does say skin. I said, then stop lying to the people. Stop lying to the people throughout Uganda. Stop lying to the people throughout Africa. Stop lying to the people of the world. Stand up for the truth that the Bible says. He walked away. He has something to think about. Is there more? Jeremiah, y'all heard of the prophet Jeremiah? Chapter eight, verse 21. He says, for the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. I am what? I am black. Who says this? The prophet Jeremiah. So what did we prove? Jesus is described as black with Afro hair in the Bible. The apostle Paul looked like the ancient Egyptians, black. The prophet Job said, my skin is black. Jeremiah says, I am black. Is there more? Solomon, Solomon. See, this is why there's a media blackout on the Israelites. Don't let them on the airwaves. They're gonna undo the centuries of lies. The World Council of Churches and the Catholic Church have, have done. We're, underdo we're undoing the lies. Where am I going? Song of Solomon. Watch this. Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse one, the Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So who wrote this? King Solomon. Verse five, I am black, but comely, meaning good looking, O you daughters of Jerusalem. So what does Solomon say? I am black. Solomon was one of the great grandparents of Jesus Christ. So if the king of Israel was black, Jesus Christ was black, one of his descendants. That's not taught in no church on earth except amongst the Israelites. So what is the difference between Christianity and the Israelites? Huh? The difference is white supremacy. We do not teach white supremacy. We teach the Bible. All your churches for centuries, from the time of slavery, colonization, you've been taught lie after lie after lie. And you've got images of a white Jesus with straight hair. And I'll ask your ministers, can you prove to me in the Bible, Jesus had straight hair or yellow hair? They can't do it. Can you prove to me Jesus Christ had pink skin like Caucasians? They can't do it. Be what? Why? Because they've taught nothing but lies. Your religious institutions have been teaching lies from day one. Why? That helps America and Britain give you foreign aid. You heard of foreign aid? Where you're giving, you're given by the powers that be foreign aid millions of dollars which I'm gonna be nice, I'm gonna be nice, which is to be used. I want y'all to listen to what I'm about to say. I'm trying to be nice about this. <clears throat> Foreign aid, I'm gonna give you the history. Thomas Sankara, back in the 80s, 1982, 83, around there. He didn't want foreign aid. He said, Africa in Burkina Faso does not need foreign aid because foreign aid dictates how you live, what you teach in your country, so we don't need it. They assassinated Thomas Sankara. They hired one of his friends to kill him. They gave his friend thousands of dollars to kill him. Why am I bringing that up? Whoever pays you, <laughs> whoever pays you dictates what you teach, how your culture is. So now I say that, I said that nicely to say this. 
foreign aid is given to many of the countries in Africa. When I've gone throughout Africa and established schools, I noticed you all have the same white supremacist school system. You all have the same white supremacist church system. What do you want to say, Juan, uh, Juanita? Go ahead. No, I, I, was, I was agreeing with you because that is true. Um, because we're colonized by the British, um, yes. most of the things that they taught us or left behind are what we still do, even our education system, um, our parliaments, and so many things. So yes, I, I do agree with you. Yes. yes. Yeah. And the Bible warns us about taking money from people who hate us. When you read Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 7, I'm going to read it. It says, surely oppression makes a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. What does it mean, a gift? A gift is money. Money destroys the heart. Your heart is your mind. Because let's say you want to say, hey, the white man has been wicked to black people for centuries. They colonized us. They enslaved us. We have to get rid of their foreign aid. We have to get rid of uh, uh, this educational system, their church system. And they say, hey, I'll give you $5 million, 10 million. And you go, 10 million, really? You give me $10 million? If I do what? You have to accept what we teach. You have to school, accept our school system and our church system and allow us to come in and take your natural resources, $10 million. Now on paper, it'll say $10 million is to be for the creation.